Okay. Uh, I wanted to kind of do a showcase of um, a little bit more of, of Shu, and I figured, well, let's just do some arena. Obviously, I'm not in Legend, but I'm in Champion basically every week, so... Where's my... There it is. Um, yeah, I'm in Champion every week. Um, my defense, for anybody who wants to see it, is kind of this. I've been Normally, this is supposed to be... Where is she? Um, where is she? Her. Armin. But I've been kind of on an experiment with this, so I'm just going to put her there, just because she serves the same purpose as Armin, just being an Arius holder, an Aureus holder. Uh, where Armin has the chance to counterattack when they AoE, so she just AoEs the whole thing. Um, I was kind of figuring, let's just put her in there and see if, uh, you know, it isn't helpful to have, like, see if it is helpful to have someone that can, like, push themselves forward, cleanse, and then um, S3 someone, basically. Uh, and then usually this alternates between either um, her or, what's her name? Uh, A-Ravi. Let's see what's closer, yeah, A-Ravi tends to be in this spot, you know, just one of the other, depending on what I'm looking at, like, if I'm seeing mostly, 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 I'm seeing mostly people are attacking me with, um, like, a lot of CC, then I'll probably run her, and then I'll maybe switch out, but she's kind of here, she's a good cleanser, she's a good CR pusher, she's a good healer in general, she's just good at, like, most of that stuff, and then finally, obviously, uh, we have Belly in here, because she turns off um, souls, as well as inflicting injury, as well as just AoE, as well as, like, um, cleave deterring, so... Yeah, normally these two kind of swap around a bit. I've kind of left these two more solid. But anyway, um, I just wanted to do a little bit of arena. So I still haven't ungeared. As you can see, the fact that she's here means I still haven't ungeared uh, my Eula, which I'll have to do at some point. Um, so whenever I get the opportunity, I'm going to take all that gear off of her and put it on someone else. Um, right now, she just has it on there, and I don't want to spend the gold to take it all off. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go through a few of these. Just kind of show off a little bit of... Um, her. Uh, let's try this. Probably want to bring, um, what's her name, but we'll see. So this is probably going to trigger Dilibet right off the bat. Oh, it didn't. Oh, we didn't get enough silences. That's very interesting. Um, so we're going to get this. Okay, so what do we do here? Oh, this is bad. Um, I really would have wanted him to go first, but... Um, let's just hit somebody. I'll hit you. And we'll use you to hit you. And he's dead. Cool. Um... I sort of hit you with this. For some reason, I didn't do any damage to him. Oh, that's a single target thing, right? Yeah. Uh, let's just get this. No matter what, I kind of have to do this whether I get the, the the buffs or not because I need the um the passive attached to it. Okay, then this happens. That didn't do very. That did barely any damage, sadly. I mean, for them, I mean, sad, but. Let's see. Hopefully, somebody needs to survive. Most of us need to survive here. Um, if, wow, somebody did they take their gear off of her or something? And then here goes this. That was not nearly uh, enough of a boost as it probably should have, as I needed it to be, basically. Okay, we're just gonna kill. Well, let's see. Let's kill. You with this, hopefully. Oh, we didn't kill her. Oh well. We're gonna hit you with this. She needs more health, basically. And he's dead. Cool. And he's dead. Oh, she hit the grass person, like the only grass one. Okay. Here comes this. Okay. 
Okay, and then, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, she probably should have been one of the first ones we killed, but, like, she had, like, no health and no damage, so I don't know, that was a little strange. Um, let's see, down here, we're probably gonna go with him and her. She's gonna bait her, and then I need a bait for the water guy, which will just be this guy. Um, so hopefully we get two one-shots, we get Krause one shot, we get her one shot. Oh, we get three, actually, because then we get, um, ML Kawaz's one shot. So there's two strips here because the ML Lilias is going to get a strip. I'm going to push him forward. And we got the one turn increase. Let's hit you. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. Let's see if she dies. Yeah, she died. That was disappointing. To say the least. <clears throat> uh, I wanted S3 her, but I'm gonna wait a little bit more just because this 40% um, damage redirection is still active. You see, that would have killed her, but it didn't because of that. They're, they're basically taking half damage, which is pretty annoying. And she's dead, I think. Fairly certain. Oh, she didn't die. Okay. Um, we're running out of chances to pull this off. I'm just gonna have to drop it now. This is actually a worse situation than, I, than when if I would have done it earlier. But either way. And she's dead. Cool. Oh no, she didn't have the redirection, which is. Part of the reason that succeeded, so that's cool. Okay, so we get another um, ML Cowork proc, which is good. Now we just get to kill ML Lilius, which is fantastic. ML Lilius paired with Pieria is so annoying. You just need a decent... Um, you just need like a decent amount of damage after that, so that's why usually you pair him with Hua Young. I think the fault was bringing this guy, um, having what's his name up there. But I don't know, maybe it's just the team I brought into him. And she's dead. Okay, so like I said, I, I kind of wanted to show off more of, uh, uh, what's her name? Shu more than anything else, but, um. We're doing all right here. Well, yeah, we'll bring Show into this one. This one looks like fun. Let's see. We need them to bait. Uh, we'll bring in. Yeah, we'll bring you. We'll bring you. Okay. We'll bring Shu instead of this one here. They have CC. They have CC here. So I think we'll be fine. Nobody has. Oh, he has a non-attack skill, but that's fine. Um. Do I want to bring... The question is, do I just want to bring her? So, oh, But I kind of don't think I want to. I think who would be better here? Um, let's see. I kind of want to bring you, actually. Where are you? Oof, I can't find her. There she is. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to work. Um, certain parts of this are pretty solid, but the rest is kind of weird. Okay. 
So then Surin is gonna go and that guy. Oh, this is bad because she's gonna kill Surin. Oh, she didn't. That's good. Uh, of course. Wow, oh, she's taking obscene amounts of damage. Oh, she already triggered her thing too, that's bad. Uh, let's kill... Let's see, how about we just kill... <sighs> the healer. She's gonna get on my nerves. Okay, and then with this, we're gonna kill you. Even if it doesn't kill her, we'll be fine because Shu is, it's mainly Shu's job to be here to like, you know, to deal with these water units when she killed her anyway. But yeah. So while Shu is a lot of fun, um, she's, she's just a little worse than um, Rem because she couldn't, she has less counterattack chance, right? Because she has to wait to her turn to activate her S3 and then she gets the the Elbrus, whereas Rem has it on all the time. But she has this. This is like the best part about her. Uh, when you crit, anyway. Um, yeah, her spamming that S S1 into S2 a lot is insane. Like, it does so much damage. Which is what I'm trying to showcase. Just have her go crazy by doing that. Uh, let's go here. Let's see. So we got, we got you up here. We got you here. One of these is going to go first. Theoretically, it's going to be him. I think uh, obviously T turn is not good here, so we're gonna bring uh, we're gonna bring you. Um, and we'll leave it like that. Yeah, Yula's taking a lot of damage. It's kind of interesting to me. Okay, so she went first, which is interesting. Um, let's yeah, let's try this. So he's gonna do this, and he's gonna trigger well, trigger Emma Kawazu, But unfortunately, Politus is gonna trigger is gonna trigger right now. That's pretty that's pretty irritating. Oh, he kept his immunity. Very interesting. It doesn't really matter because fortunately, she's going before my deal a bit. Um, so speed tuning, speed, the speed tuning here kind of worked out. And there's that, and she does this. And let's do this. Wow, we still didn't get to go, after that 20% CR push, we didn't get to go before her? That's insane, that's like, I can't even fathom how little sense that makes. Well, there goes that. Um, we need someone, we need a better tank down here. She barely, she barely did anything. Uh, let's go with, uh, what's her name? We're gonna get stripped, so we're not gonna, we, we need to make sure we don't trigger that S2 from her. But for now, what we're gonna do is bring, where are you? If I can find you, here we go. I'm gonna bring you. We're gonna bring, um... G perg up here instead, uh, and then I think this should be fine. Yeah, let's try this. See what happens. No one has buff block, which is a good. And we can do this. Yeah, that's a very fast um, BBK, which I guess theoretically she doesn't need to be that. She doesn't need to do enough damage if you're bringing a defense breaker, right? If you bring a defense breaker, I mean, she's just going to kill everybody no matter what. So that's kind of what the point of that is. Um, we have to cycle around backwards, so we're just going to. I'm just going to do this. 
Um, because we're about to get hit by this, you know. Who has defense break on? I keep expecting to be another tick of damage after they like high five or like that the end of that animation, but there's not. It's just it's already over as soon as the damage comes out. Okay, so I can do this now. And if, like, well, theoretically, if the battle went on a little longer, if she had to, um, if she countered by her, like, cause she has counter set, so if she countered by her counter set or by her, like, you know, um, S3, like, passive proc, uh, we're bringing, we're still bringing her, but we're bringing in you, cause it'll be funny, and you, there's no CC here. Everyone's going to be stealth except her. This looks like it'll be funny. We'll try this. So she's going first. Which is fine. We all have immunity, and the one who didn't, the one who didn't have immunity, had dodge, so that's good. Now let's get this out of the way. Yeah, the twenty percent CR push on her S one is no joke. I think we can just kill you. <laughs> let's find out. Yeah, she's defense scaling, and that's true damage, so, you know, kind of just the way it goes. And we get your buffs. Well, yeah, I guess we didn't get them. That's fine. But yeah, I think, like I said, this is partially, again, I haven't taken the gear off of her, so I may as well, you know, teach a lesson with everything you do, but, like... Hopefully you guys can see like the shortcomings of Yulha because for one her her reflex the her reflection ability doesn't um, work on AOE it only works on single target and it only works against these bots because these bots are kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, Shu on the other hand is a lot of fun. I'm still I've been debating whether I run her on account on um. A health boot or a speed boot right now she's about uh, 190 speed so it's like not the worst but still um who do I who's, who's good here we'll bring where is bring you we'll keep you I want something to. I want to do something about the CC here. How's this look? Oh no, that's wrong. Uh, there we go. How's this look? It looks kind of bad, actually. What if we bring. Uh, we'll bring SSB here. Swap your places around. Um. That looks interesting. We'll try that. Really, one of the only ways to counter, like, Bellion. Well, I mean, Bellion has lots of counters. Don't, like, she's not broken or anything. Not that broken, right? She's very strong, but she's not that broken. One of the, the funner ways to counter her is just by bringing SSB because um, she'll just straight up, like, return fire almost every other time uh, she AoEs. And we get, we get um, crit resistance here, so that's good. See, that only did about 4,000 damage to that Arby, so 
you know. That's interesting. So, revive, and we get our shields and immunity. See? There we go. So she just constantly keeps spamming stuff out, which is significantly uh, advantageous against Bellion. S1 into S2, see? This is why, okay, so this is why you want to burn her S2, if you're using Shu, you want to burn her S2 as fast as possible, like, faster than possible. Um, because right there, I had five stacks, and it reset the cooldown of her S2, but I haven't used her S2 yet, so it reset nothing, right? So even if you don't have max stacks, just spam it out as much as possible, uh, because the S1 will boost your, your, your stacks like crazy, and you'll, like, like, let's say... You used it and it's on cooldown. Your S1 counterattacks will build enough stack, uh, enough stacks. Uh, uh, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, that when the S1 triggers the S2, it'll just reset the cooldown for you. And now, when it's her turn again, she has another S2 to go. So you can just spam them out. It's crazy. Um, what do we do here? Let's see. Well, like I said before, we kind of want to want you here. Um, he's going to bait her. We're bringing... Where are you? I'm bringing you. And I'm bringing... Where is she? You. Um, this doesn't seem too bad. Hopefully it's fine. We'll, we'll find out what happens. I'm not, I'm not really, I haven't really thought the timing through. Because you usually want to, when you go into this, you want to think about your turn cycle. Like, what, what's it looking like? So they're going first. Um, not, nothing bad's going on so far. Uh, the only thing is we're probably going to get that to go off right now. So, um, I'm not going to ask, one, I'm not going to ask three yet. Okay, so here's this, and we're all going to get defense broken, so we got to be wary of that. Um, let's just kill you. Here's one counter attack. Okay, so fortunately she didn't have the. Um, she, fortunately she didn't have the um, demon mode yet, but she's about to get it now. And she got the counter. Oh, she got the single counter, which is fantastic. Uh, we're just gonna kill you. Because again, Ramiro's already kind of done Ramiro's thing. Like, right now, she's a bigger threat. Okay, so here comes this. Fortunately, we got rid of that defense break right before this happened. She still might die, though. Um, yeah, it's a lot of damage. Can I kill Ramiro with an S3? Let's just find out. Let's roll the dice. I don't think this is going to go very well, but we did it. Cool. So now, hopefully, we kill you. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um, a lot of times, you're just rolling the dice when you're using... Uh, please don't miss. Good. And we did it. Uh, so we got to see some shoe, and we got to see you know some um, of the way I play Arena. Um, I don't cleave... Personally, I mean, I do have some units, but they're never really fast enough to cleave, and I don't really like the, like, you know, the gamble to cleave. Now, cleave is so fast that it doesn't really matter. You just make up for it, but, like, I just, I can't be asked to be sitting there and, like, have my whole day ruined because I got 15%ed. 
it happens here too, but like it's slower and it's like you're just taking your time and you know a lot of times if you fail it's it ends up being your fault. So, um, but either way it's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just do one more and then we'll we'll move on from there. Uh, we're bringing you or where's Ramiru? Bring Ramiru. Um. Let's see. Should I bring... I think I'm gonna bring you. And then, in the front, who should I bring? Somebody... I guess I'll just bring, uh, what's her name? Yeah, she'll, she'll do good with the uh, attack buff. I think Hua Young is going first, so she's going to get pushed back. Which is not too bad, just because um, then she'll get attack buff. But yeah, she got pushed back. Okay, so here comes this. Hopefully, you don't die. The biggest sort of insult that I like for me personally that uh, she does is that this buff is unstealable and it's like, it's just a safe buff. You can't strip it, you can't steal it, you can't do anything about it. Like, you just have to sit there and take it, which to me is probably the, the most irritating thing about it, but that's just me personally. We have attack break, so this kind of sucks, obviously, but whatever. Oof, we didn't get anywhere near enough damage. Oh, of course. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how much damage I can do on this. Um, a Ravi. Oh, she has proof of valor. Oh man. Yeah, nowhere near enough. Let's do... Sit you, she's got defense break. And he's dead. Oh my gosh. He just won't die. <laughs> Let's hit... Let's hit you. Because you are getting on my nerves a little bit. See if he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's fine. Uh, we'll hit you. There's too many high priority targets here. Like, I have to kill all of them. Uh, I have to kill Ravi because she's going to revive somebody. I have to kill um, Rem because she's going to keep AoEing. Let's just kill Ravi right now. Oh, cool. And then I get to do this. Okay. Oh, of course. And he's dead. Let's see if she counters. Nope. Finally. That's good. Of course. Uh, let's get over this. And she's dead. Cool. Oh, well, there you go. That, that's how that was. Um, what could I have done a little differently? Let's go see. Oh, well, it won't let me. Um, 
Let's go back here, battle log. Oh, it doesn't tell me what I brought into that. Well, I guess I can just look at the team. Um, maybe Shu could have helped here, but it felt like, ah, uh, it felt kind of like everybody there did a part, right, if it weren't for them. I think the fact that he died was probably a good sign that um, Ramiru was the only one that didn't need to be here, so maybe I could have put Shu, I could put Shu here next time or something like that. Um, in fact, maybe I can put Shu in this one and we'll do one more. Where are you? Yeah, and that's kind of the thing with Shu compared to Ram, right? So if you don't have Ram, I guess Shu's fine, but if you, um, with Shu, that's the wrong character. I was talking about Ram. Um, what was I saying? The point being that, like, if you have Ram, there's really no reason to use Shu just because Ram's a lot faster because she AoEs, but let's see. We'll just hit you. Uh, but otherwise, I think she's not bad. Um, what is it with everyone running Proof of Valor on their a -Ravies? It's kind of weird. Is everybody running crit damage on their a -Ravies now too? How's that going? Let's push you back. Actually, I gotta kill her at some point. Let's uh, give everybody this. Um, oh, actually, yeah, we're about to get... Um, that's bad. Yeah, this is about to happen. I forgot about this. Uh, let's just kill her. Yep, there we go. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I wasn't really running Proof of Valor on their A-Ravies, but I was wondering if people are switching their A-Ravies over to crit damage sets, because that just seems like it would be a huge benefit. 8k. He did 15,000 last time! Right, let's see. Let's do this. Oh, she's dead. She should be dead. Ah, oh, so close. Just die. Just die. Good. Okay. So now we just gotta deal with Rem doing whatever Rem does. Don't counter. Okay. Just gonna hit her once, twice. Don't defense break. Damn it. Here goes this. S1. Yes, S2. Oh, she's gonna AoE, but that's fine. Uh, let's just kill Ram with this. So yeah, the the other thing is like right, consider consider like if you're using Shu, consider every time like pay attention to every single time Shu counterattacks, right? Because if Shu counterattacked in that situation, Ram would have counterattacked in that situation, and think to yourself what would have been more useful. Um, that ram counterattack or the shoe counterattack, and a lot of times it's more the ram, right? Um, yeah, so that's just something to like remember. Let's see, I just want to do let's bring you, you, uh, you, and where is the revive guy? Uh, anti revive here. I just was going to do this, just was why not. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, the point being that, um, take that into consideration. Um, like, you could run Shu, but Rem, ultimately, it's just a lot better. Um, now, it depends on how you build Shu. Like, if you want to build Shu on a counter set, um, like I have her built, then maybe it's not such a good idea, like, to run her, because, like I said, Rem is just a better counter set user. But if you want to maybe invest in a speed set, right, on her, you see, this is why I like using, um, this is why I like using her, she's just a lot of fun. But anyway, the point being that, um, if you want to run Shu, like, super speedy, just, like, dump all, everything into speed, you could probably do that, too, and it wouldn't be too bad. Wow, she countered every single attack, basically. Um, let's just kill you right now. Um... Yeah, but if you run around like super, like as much speed as you can get, and have her like try to go first, 
and then uh, S3, it's like as fast as possible, she has a, a EE that gives you immunity. And in that sense, she's one of the better immunity givers because not only does she give you immunity, she's also giving you a lot of damage, um, and she's giving you um, crit resistance as well, right? So keep that in mind. That's just uh, an example. Let's see. My build is just an example. I mean, um, you know, there's lots of viable builds on her. Like that's what makes Shu. That's what makes Shu more exciting, wasn't that? Oh, I get to put counter set on a new unit. It was more like I can put whatever I want on a unit. I can make her. Um, I can put counter set. I can put um, speed. I can put crit damage set. You know. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I mean, basically that was that was the main thing. Um, oh, my but yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, took something away from this. I uh, got to see a little bit of shoe in action. Um, uh, maybe learn a thing or two about like defenses. There's not a whole lot to learn about defenses. Unfortunately, defenses are like keys. Some people always just have the key to whatever you have. It's just a matter of like, do they have a box to, do they have the units equipped to deal with what you're doing? Um, your job def deciding your team comp is, um, yeah, your job deciding your team comp is how many times like can I limit what they're doing? And specifically, a lot of times, just slowing people down by running something like, um, you put some, where is she? You put something like her on the team. Just slowing them down is good enough to get most people not to want to attack you because they just be like, oh, I don't really want to deal with that. I'm going to move on somewhere else, right? So keep that in mind. There's a, there's a balance you want to play here. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my piece. Uh, see you guys when I see you guys next time.